What's going on, everybody? DJ Coham here. Hope you're all having a great day. We've had some updates to the website, basically. So we are at farmsim.com. We are checking out what we're at is we're in games. So if you want to follow along with this, go to games. And then you want to scroll down to the bottom. Well, hit game. So let's do this the long way. Games, hit Farm Sim 19. And then come down to the bottom. We have this overview here of different things in the game. And every week when they do the fact sheets, they update this with new stuff. Stuff that we did not get fact sheets for. However, they have given us information. And this is good. Because this is stuff that they don't tell you. So, in case we're in tractors, right? Vehicles. Sorry, we're in vehicles. There's a lot of stuff in here they put out today that you have not seen on the fact sheets. Get ready, sit down, get some popcorn, grab a drink. Let's do this. We've got the Case IH Optum CVX 288 to 313 horsepower. I'm starting to realize I think they had these on here last week. <laughs> uh, some of these may be a uh, overlap from last week, but I want to make sure you see them all so we'll, you can see each week how they grow. We have the Case IH Quad Track, which we did get fact sheet for today. 525 to 692 horsepower. And we have a coming soon. I wonder what that could be. In Fent, we have the Fent 700 Vario, 165 to 240 horsepower. And we have the Fent 1100, which is going to be in large tractors, 492 to 646. Now, keep in mind, the Fent 700 Varia is in medium tractors, which is very cool. In Hardy, okay, so this is going to be uh, in the vehicles category, I guess. Uh, it is the Rubicon 9000 Crop Protection Shop category. Very cool. 370 horsepower, 48.5 meter working width, capacity of 9,000 liters. In John Deere, we have the 8R Series in large tractors. 290 to 450 horsepower. I have said, and I'll say it again, I'm very excited for this tractor. This, like this information alone, this horsepower information alone has got me super hyped for this tractor. And we have a coming soon. In Lizard, we got another truck added this week. The Lizard Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> Yet another new semi truck. I am hype about this. I'm very, very excited about this. Giants, thank you for paying attention to the American market. That's all I have to say. I am very appreciative. Thank you. This is by Lizard. It is in the trucks category. 550 horsepower, 80 kilometers. And you have the Lizard Roadrunner in red here. Shop category trucks, 620 horsepower, and we'll go the same speed. Very cool. That is a big <laughs> tractor. Then we have the Lizard Pickup 1978, an old truck, 200 horsepower, up to Manitou. We have the Manitou MLT 737 and Telehandler, has 129 horsepower and go 40 kilometers an hour. And we have a coming soon. Massey Ferguson, the 7700 medium tractor, one of my favorite tractors in the game. 210 to 280 horsepower, and that 280 horsepower is a hoss. It, it's 280 horsepower at 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. I'm kidding, it's not, but it's, it is a great tractor. In New Holland, I don't think we had New Holland last week, but in New Holland this week, we have the T6, which is in medium tractors, 125 to 175 horsepower, beautiful tractor. We have the New Holland T8 in large tractors, 320 to 435 horsepower. And the T9 in large tractors, 462 to 550 horsepower. And we have a coming soon. Neat. In Stara, we have the ST Max 180 in medium tractors. It's going to give you 180 horsepower. We have the Imperador 3.0 crop protection. 220 horsepower, 27 meter working width, capacity of 5,100 liters. We have got both of these in Farm Sim 17 right now, if you own the Platinum Edition. If you do not own the Platinum Edition and you're kind of on the fence about it, no, no stop. 
whatever you're about to do stop it right now because we're going to have everything from the platinum edition in farm sim 19. save your money save the 14 or 30 dollars whatever it is for the platinum put that towards farm sim 19. do it <laughs> and we have a coming soon i don't know if this is going to be the other tractor the smaller one or if this is going to be something else not sure and we have Valtra. We've got the N series here, which is in small tractors, 145 horsepower to 201 horsepower. See what Valtra is really growing on me. Um, I am kind of digging Valtra a little more lately than usual. But anyway, and of course we have coming soon, which they have to put in there. Um, but very, very cool. In harvesters, let's jump in Agco. We had this last week, the ideal harvester. 538 horsepower to 647 horsepower capacity of 17,100 liters and we have two different headers for them both are the same same size one is a um draper 12 meter here and then at the bottom left hand corner we have a regular header with the spinny things in it. I don't know what they're called. If you know what they're called, smash the like button, drop it down in the comment section. And Capello, or Capello. We have the Quasar HS16. This is a corn header working width of 12 meters. In case, coming soon. Ooh. Grimmy, we got some of this stuff today. Some of it we haven't seen yet, but very cool nonetheless. We have a, this is all in potato technology. Uh, we have the KS754 at the top left-hand corner. Requires 65 horsepower, working width of 3.2 meters. On the right, we have the SE260. Requires 110 horsepower, working width of 2 meters. Capacity of 9,276 liters. So these both work together left and right. However, if you don't want both of them, just jump down here to the bottom left. We have the Grimmy Veritron which is, <laughs> sounds like a Transformer name. The Veritron 470 Platinum Terra Track. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it has 435 horsepower, goes 25 kilometers an hour, and has a capacity of 9,590. Very cool. And I'm guessing it is a three meter working width, which it does not say, but I'm gonna assume that it is. In John Deere, we got the John Deere T560 Harvester, 387 horsepower. I believe they showed this off in some of the gameplay capacity, 10,000 liters. We have two headers for it. We have the John Deere 625X, 7.6 meter as a combine header. And then you have your John Deere 608C in corn headers, six meter working width. Very, very cool. In Massey, Fer ooh, coming soon, Massey Ferguson. New Holland, coming soon. Ropa, we have the Keeler or Keller 2 in potatoes. 150 horsepower needed, two meter working width, capacity of 10,000 liters. You do not need a topper for this. You do not need a, a mower topper thing. You could just use this and be completely good with it awesome and of course coming soon there's nothing in there jumping over to equipment we got a lot to go over here agco bunch of weights <laughs> we got a uh, 650 1100 1500 and 2300 i believe we have all those in game agri sim we have the cult to plow eight meter that is going to be there from bednar we have the bednar terraland 6000 hm you're gonna need 500 horsepower for that. Six meter working width, capacity of 3,000 liters. Oh yeah, and these things, uh, let's see, Agrisim, details, 420 horsepower working with of eight meters on that. But if you own the Big Bud, you already know about the Agrisim. Very cool, we just clicked on Bednar, so let's hit Breedle. We've got the K165 fertilizer technology, 12 meter working width, 16,000 liters. That is going to be solid fertilizer. Unbach, we have the Aerostar Rotation 1200. It is in weeders. You're going to need 95 horsepower working width of 12 meters. That is awesome. In Elmer's, we have the Elmer's Hallmaster. 
and is in auger wagons, you're going to need 400 horsepower, capacity of 46,000 to 70,000 liters. Infant, ooh, coming soon. Flexicoil, yes, this is coming back. We got the Flexicoil ST820 Cultivator, 500 horsepower, 24 meter working with, yes. In Flegel, we have the Flegel DPW 210 in baling technology. We saw this last week, so nothing new there. In Gregoire Besson, I think this does confirm that the Big Bud DLC is going to be in FS19. Just saying. We have the Trailed Lifter, which really everyone uses to go from not having a three-point hitch to having a three-point hitch. I use this on the back of my big M500, and I put a, uh, a tether back there, and I do the, the hey, you, you all do it too. <laughs> but anyway, we have the trail lifter, and then we have the SPSL9 in plows. You're going to need 550 horsepower, working width of 10.5 meters. In Grimmy, yeah, we got some planters in here. We have the GL420 Potato Planner, 150 horsepower, 3 meter, 2740 liters work or capacity. Not working with, geez. And then on the right, we have the GL860 Compacta Potato Harvester, 170 horsepower, 6 meter working with, 9020 liters. In Hardy, ooh, nothing there. In Hats and Bickler. <laughs> I love it when Mr. Silly P says that's some Bickler. Anyway, we have the Terminator TH-18, 450 horsepower, 18 meters. And we have the TH-1400 Cedar, 14,720 liter capacity. Both of these work hand in hand together. You cannot use one without the other. Well, you can use the, the one on the right without the one on the left and just put it on. Shut up. In John Deere, we have a weight. Cool. <laughs> in Joskin, we have the Transpace 8000. It is in trailers, 31,000 liter capacity. I think I'm using this in one of my Let's Plays right now. It is a base game trailer. You have seen it. In Grant, we have the Cody FRC Slurry Tank, 50 horsepower, 55,000 liter capacity. In Agro Liner, okay, cool. These are all brand new for this week as well. We have the manufacturer for Kroger. Wait, manufacturer, AgriLiner, Kroger. Okay, anyway, uh, Kroger AgriLiner. We had 21,000 liter and 21,000 liter. My question is the one on the left. So in order to put these together, you had to use a bunch of the ones on the right or the one on the left with the one on the right behind it. You couldn't put the ones on the left together. So I hope in FS19, you can, but we can only hope. <laughs> in Coon, okay, we got another new thing in Coon today. Uh, we have at the top left hand corner, we have the Coon PF 1500, 1500 liter capacity. On the right, we have the Deltas 1302 MTA3 in crop protection. All of these are in crop protection. 21 meter working width, capacity of 13,000 liters. This was from the Coon Pack. Very cool. And on the bottom left hand corner, we have the Metris 4102. Will hold 4,380 4, liters with a 36 meter capacity working width. Wow, my brain is starting to fry. <laughs> nothing in Lizard, nothing in Massey Ferguson, nothing in New Holland, nothing in Ropa. Samson, okay, yep, same stuff as last week. We have Samson Agro, which is the tank, 220 horsepower needed, 25,000 liter capacity. On the right, we have the cultivator, I'm assuming, uh, Samson Agro SD 700, 115 horsepower needed, and seven meter working width. And then at the bottom left hand corner, we have the SBH436. It's a 36 meter working width, and you will put that on the back of the tank on the left here. In Stara, nothing. I'm guessing that's going to be a planter. In TT, we, hey, we got the big T, the Disc Harrow. Ooh, hang on. It's in Disc Harrows. 
that's different. That is not a shop category that we've had before. Normally we have plows, cultivators, and that's it. So now we may, might have plows, cultivators, and disc harrows. Ooh. 320 horsepower required, 3.4 meter working width. And I believe in Farm Sim 17, you can put fertilizers on these. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you can. So check that out. All right, in Vaterstadt, um, we have the Tipo V TPV8, which is six meter working width. Uh, on the left, on the right, we have the Vaterstadt FH2200, which is a planter has capacity of 2200 liters on the left in the middle right here we have the tempo l16 it's in planters required power 300 horsepower 12 meter working width that's probably going to be my new favorite planter capacity 6560 liters on the right <laughs> jesus is huge 84 foot seed hawk it's in cedars 640 horsepower required 25.6 meter working with jeez that is huge and to go with that we have the seed hawk 980 air cart it is in cedars capacity of 34,500. you ain't gonna run out of anything anytime soon with that <laughs> wilson trailer we got the pace setter capacity 60,000 liters Coming soon, of course, nothing ain't coming soon. In maps, nothing in maps. In animals, nothing in animals. And in fruits, nothing in fruits. So that is going to be it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like. If you know you please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them for you. I will leave links to this page, this exact page, in the descriptions. So make sure you check that out. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!